We've got a leak. And we've got a whining noise. That's not good. Hey friend, it's Len from Wani Auto. If you have this noise coming from your vehicle while it's either idling or while you're driving down the road, you might have an issue with the power steering, it could be a leak or a restriction in circulation. Either way, let's diagnose this together. Now let's make sure we're wearing hand and eye protection at all times. There's about five things under the hood that we'd wanna pay attention to. Ours are pretty much out in the open. Now, since we're dealing with a hydraulic power steering system, the first thing we wanna check is the power steering fluid level. If it looks like it's low, you probably have a leak someplace. With that said, let's move along to the first part since it's right here, the power steering pump. Your power steering pump is responsible for circulating your power steering fluid. If you have some sort of whining noise while you're driving or steering the vehicle, typically it's due to the air inside of the power steering pump due to the fluid being low. If this pump had an issue where it was leaking in some way, it's typically either going to be from the pump seal behind this pulley or one of the hose connections. Keep in mind, by running your power steering fluid low, you could cause catastrophic damage to the power steering pump itself, costing you more time and money in the long run. If you need this part or any other part, check us out at oneauto.com and we'll ship it out to you fast and free. Let's move along to talking about our second part here, and that's the power steering lines. Your power steering lines are responsible for transferring fluid pressure from your power steering pump all the way down to either your power steering rack or power steering box, depending on your vehicle. Now your vehicle is going to have at least two power steering lines. You'll have a pressure line coming off of the pump and typically a return line or more, depending on your situation. You want to make sure that you check the connection points on each one of the lines and the tubing and hoses. If it looks like anything's dry rotted and cracked or even damaged in some way, like this one right here, all the way down at the power steering rack, you have to go ahead and replace that line. This part right here can cause a serious issue with your vehicle as well. What is it? We'll talk about that as a bonus in the end. Now let's talk about our third part, the power steering rack. Now your power steering rack is going to be easiest to see from underneath the vehicle. Now, since we know that any leak in the power steering system could cause a hard steering issue, it's important to inspect several areas on the power steering rack itself. You will have the shaft seal up along where your steering shaft connects into the top. You're going to have where each one of your power steering lines goes into. You'll have a couple seals. Each one of those seals will be located behind your bellows boot. You'd have to go ahead and pop this out of the way. Otherwise, you will have power steering transfer tubes, which make their way all the way across the power steering rack. Inspect each one of these areas carefully. The fourth part to pay attention to would be your power steering cooler located along the front of your vehicle. If you were to look just inside the front bumper cover, you might happen to find that you have a power steering cooler back there. Generally, it's going to be semi out in the open because it has to be able to have airflow going through it. It's going to be exposed to the elements. That can cause damage such as rot like this right here or the like. If it gets rotted to the point that it's leaking and squirting out like this, you're going to have serious issues. And you can get a brand new power steering cooler from 1AAuto.com. Moving on from leaks, our fifth part or parts is your serpentine belt and tensioner. They go hand in hand and they're located along the front of your engine. Looking in here, you can tell that that serpentine belt goes over the power steering pump pulley. As you know, the power steering pump circulates your power steering fluid through the system. So if the pulley isn't spinning, it's not going to be circulating fluid and you're going to have hard steering or glitchy steering, depending on how much the belt is actually holding on. You thoroughly want to give each one of these parts an inspection. We want to make sure the belt itself is taunt up against the pulley and it's not torn, worn, or damaged. You also want to test that tensioner. Commonly, you'll have a spring-loaded tensioner. Go ahead and use your serpentine belt tool and make sure that it does retract as it should. If you try pulling on it and it doesn't move at all, it could be putting too much pressure on that power steering pump causing an issue. If it's not putting enough pressure for some reason, it's going to cause that hard steering event. Now I have an extreme case of a belt in my hand right here. The one in the vehicle is a little bit hard to see, but if you were to look closely at this one right here, you can see that there's several cracks that make their way all the way through the ribbed area. As I continue rolling, look at that. Something like this is definitely going to cause an issue with the power steering and it could potentially cause other issues as well with the engine. So that's the belt. Now we can have a closer look at the tensioner as well. This is a spring-loaded tensioner. If there was an issue with this, it would be internal. You'd want to go ahead and replace that. And if your belt looks like this, go ahead and order the pair. 
So if you find an issue with the power steering system, it's always a good idea to make sure you fix it ASAP. This is a safety issue. And plus, you don't want to cause a problem where it's going to end up costing you more money in the long run. Now, I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it interesting. If there was something in this video that you think might help somebody, go ahead and share it with them. If you liked the video or even loved the video, go ahead and smash on that like button for me. It would mean the world. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell. That way there you, all of your friends, can be kept up with all of our latest content. Thanks. Now it's time to talk about that bonus. If you've experienced a stalling condition while cornering and maybe the check engine light pops on on the dash, you might have an issue with your power steering pressure switch. Go ahead and disconnect the electrical connector, unscrew it from the pressure line, and then replace it with a brand new one and reconnect it. After that, fill up your system and take it for a road test.